Cybersecurity Today brings you the latest cybersecurity news with the help of our sponsor, Trend Micro. Welcome to Cybersecurity Today. It's Friday, August 31st. I'm Howard Solomon. I'm away this week, but still have some security and privacy tips to pass on to listeners. Let's talk about a four-letter word, spam. Security companies and police are getting better at shutting down sources of fraud and theft-related spam, but there's still lots coming into your inbox. The Anti-Phishing Working Group estimated that in March, there were almost 114,000 unique phishing websites around the world. So what can you do? Well, first you can report it to the CRTC's Spam Reporting Center at fightspam.gc.ca. Last month, the commission fined two companies a total of $250,000 for helping spread malware through online advertising. It also helps if you read your email slowly and think about what you're responding to. If it looks too good to be true, it is. Messages claiming that you've won big money if you only answer a few personal questions are usually phony. Ignore messages from banks asking you to click on a link and fill in your password. Reputable businesses never send you email that asks you to verify your personal or financial information online. And I know I'm repeating myself, but think carefully before clicking on a link sent by someone, even if it seems to be from someone you know, like your boss, a co-worker, a family member, or a friend. Their email could have been taken over by a crook who's sending out spam. For more information on fighting spam, see the website of the Office of the Privacy Commissioner of Canada. I'll be back next week with the latest cybersecurity news. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, or add us to your Alexa Flash briefing. Thanks for listening. I'm Howard Solomon. Cybersecurity Today is produced by the ITWC Podcast Network. This episode was brought to you by Trend Micro, smart, optimized, connected security solutions for your connected world. Learn more at trendmicro.com.